Hello, I am in front of Sacramento Valley Valley Station here in Sacramento, California, and I am about to spend 31 hours on America's most scenic train to Denver, Colorado. So let's go get on board. Today, we'll be riding Amtrak's California Zephyr train from Sacramento, California to Denver. We'll travel over 1,300 miles through four states, reaching altitudes as high as 9,270 feet. Come and join us as we show you what it is like to live on this train, from our sleeper cabin to the amazing views to the insane food. And of course, the ultimate question, how late will we be? Keep watching to find out. Alrighty, we are on board this, this super liner room at it's room number four, uh, and it's a nice little space. I'll give you a room tour in, in a bit, but first we're just going to get your bag set, settled and every, everything ready. So, yeah. Alrighty, we're on board. Here's the room tour. So, uh, we, we, we got a, a roomette. They're, they're bodies of wider that we're here. There's a little closet over there. Um, and, 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 and then there are two seats, which my mom is sitting in one. And, and then this is the, uh, top bunk, which will fold down at night. Um, over here, there are, uh, controls for this light. Uh, and then also the hold the call and the cab ebb and lights. And then over there by mom is the charging out, out, out the AC control and the other light. So yeah, uh, we're, we're now on board. Uh, I will, uh, I, I'll, I'll put a little d delay metric for how delayed we get. And we're about to depart Sacramento, California on our way to Denver. So I'll see you on the move. Alrighty, we are walking up to the dining car. I'll see you up there where we will have lunch, our first of uh, five meals on this train, I think. Yeah, five meals, or four meals. Five if we're late, which we will, we will be. So see you up there. As we pass Union Pacific's Roseville Yard and pull into the station here in Roseville, California, we're sitting down to eat lunch. Meals on Amtrak are almost always shared with other people, hence why I didn't do any talking, but here's a shot of the menu. Both my mom and I went for the goat cheese salad for this first meal, which we both thought was really good. The nice thing about having a roommate is that you can work on videos, so I'm currently editing the video that I posted a lot last week, which I'll link up here in the corner. We are now in Colfax, I think. Yeah, that's the old Colfax Station build building, which is now a museum. So I'm just relaxing here. And we're about to make the trip through these Sierra Nevadas. So now uh, let's cut to a mountain montage, which I think should be the next clip. If it's not, this will be a weird <laughs> outro. Okay, so I went over to the observation car uh, to take some cool pictures of this really nice scene, scene, scenery up in the Sierras, and uh, they made they made an announcement that uh, they're doing track work near Truckee, which is pretty close to here, and uh, UP is uh, putting us behind freight freight trains. Is that illegal? Yes, but the UP still does it. There's a whole the whole shenanigan old 
business about that. Basically, the law that prevents it doesn't really have any real punishments for the freight railroads. But uh, anywhere, and anyway, we'll be here for a while. It's a bit after four now. Uh, we're already running close to 90 min min minutes late. We're scheduled into Reno, basically now. Um, and we're still almost two hours outside of Re Reno. But, um, yeah, so... I guess I'll update you when we start moving. So we ended up sitting at the top of Donner Pass for quite some time, just under an hour. And by the time we were leaving, we were about two and a half hours late. We then got some pretty cool views coming down the Sierras and entering Nevada, which you're seeing now. And let's cut to us at the Reno Fresh Air Break. Alrighty, we are in Reno, Nevada, the first fresh air break. And so far the only fresh air break because uh, we boarded in Sacramento. So, um, this is Reno, Re Nevada. We have a, about 10 minutes here, and then we'll head up to dinner. So, I was an idiot and forgot to film the dinner menu, so here is the PDF from Amtrak's website. So, I ended up getting the caprese skewers for my appetizer, and my mom got the baby breeze salad. Uh, and then for the main course, I got the rigatoni bold knees, and my mom got the goat cheese salad off the lunch menu. For dessert, I got the Meyer lemon cake, and my mom got the blueberry cheesecake. All the food at dinner was really good, just the same as lunch. I personally thought the caprese skewers were really tasty, albeit a bit small, and the rigatoni bolognese was also pretty good, and I, and I was happy to see a good plant-based option on the dinner menu, as I am a vegetarian, and so is my mom. So now, back to our roommate. So we're just cruising along in our roommate. That road of, over there is Highway 95. It's, I think it's, lon it's uh, America's loneliest road. And it's really insanely empty. Uh, we, we haven't seen a house or a car for like 20 minutes. It's insane. So yeah, for now, enjoying the room at life through the middle of nowhere in Nevada. Um, and I'll see you at bedtime. Okay, so... Uh, our bed got made up upstairs, I'll show you in, in just a second. But this is the Amtrak shower. Uh, it's a little, little tiny dressing room here. Hi. Uh, and then this is the shower itself. Uh, it's nice. And uh, I'll catch you after I have showered and I get in my PJ. So, see you then. Okay, so the shower in, the, in my car, car 632, didn't work. So now in it's car 631, the other shower, and I'm gonna test if it works before I actually get in. But shower, shower view part two coming soon, hopefully. Alrighty, you can't see me, but the camera is facing me. We're currently stopped at Winnemucca, Nevada, operating two hours and 49 minutes late. I'm in bed and I'm gonna just go to sleep now. So good night, and I'll see you all in the morning. Uh, um, almost certainly, yeah, well, we, we will be in Utah by then. So I'll see you in U Utah, so bye-bye, good night. Good morning. I slept for about seven and a half hours. It was a nice night to sleep. We're now standing outside of Salt, Salt Lake City, Utah. A freight train just passed, and we'll be pulling into Salt, Salt Lake City probably just over three and a half hours late. Uh, so, yeah, um, there, there, there's a fresh air break there, but do you think we'll take advantage of? So see you there. So we kind of ended up just sitting on the same siding for quite a while. Um, but, but we had a quite nice view of the Great Salt Lake. So we actually ended up going to have breakfast. So cut to that now. So as we continue to sit by the Great Salt Lake, here is breakfast, this is the menu. I went for the French toast because it's Amtrak's signature and it was very good. And my mom went for the three egg omelet and she had that with a croissant and grits. See you in Salt Lake City. Alrighty, welcome to the fresh air break at Salt Lake City. This is Salt Lake Central Station. Uh, the front runner and the UTA light rail serve here. We are for, for, for 25 minutes and we are a cool four hours and 33 minutes late. Nice. Alrighty, I made it up to the front front, front of the train. Uh, we have uh, two P42s as you, you, usual. Number number seven is leading uh, and then 201 is trail, trailing. Here in Salt Lake, uh, we're gonna be a beep, 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 for 15 more minutes. So, uh, uh, see you probably back on board. 
We soon left Salt Lake City, and after running through its southern suburbs, we turned east, heading towards Colorado. At this point, we were running about five hours late. However, we got this amazing scenery of the Utah Red Rocks once we left the Salt Lake City suburbs. I spent most of the time with this wonderful scenery in the observation car, hence why I'm voicing this over. So let's now cut to us at lunch. So for lunch, the menu is the same as yesterday, hence why I'm not showing it. You can scroll back to the timestamp on the screen now if you would like to see the menu again. I got the loaded baked potato with chili, and my mom got the veggie burger. I thought the baked potato was really good and surprisingly very filling. In my opinion, the two best meals on the train were this and the rigatoni I had for dinner. Plus, of course, the Meyer lemon cake for dessert, because sugar good. So now let's cut back to me with even more scenery, and, and we're coming up on really the most beautiful section, so stay tuned. Our, f our first side to the Rockies, that's uh, down probably near Leadville. This is our um, train right now. We left Green River five hours and nine minutes late, and the very optimistic tracker is saying a 10-18 arrival in, in, into Denver, but that is extremely optimistic and probably won't be the case. Um, it's saying we'll get into sh the, the train will get into sh to Chicago only an hour and a half late, which is not going to be the case. Um, but yeah, we still have this really great y Utah scenery. So, Mom, as a as a less crazy transit nerd, what are your your thoughts on this train being five five hours late? I'm enjoying the extra time to be able to see the landscape. Yeah, it's really nice and. It's fun, and I mean, if you come into an Amtrak long distance train, especially a, a western one, and you expect it to be on time, you're kind of crazy. But yeah, this is really beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and those are the ro I, I think the, those are the Rockies down there. Um, and I, and I guess I'll see you uh, past Grand Junction, or probably probably at at Grand Junction, where, it's, where there's a short fresh air break, and then the really scenic Porsche portion starts. So, I know in the last clip I said I would see you guys at Grand Junction, and you will see me at Grand Junction, but first, you actually hit the Colorado River a bit before entering the state of Colorado, it's called the Ruby Canyon, and it's really, really beautiful, so I'm gonna shut up now, put some cool music on to this, and now, for real, see you in Grand Junction. Grand Junction. We're about uh, four hours and 40 minutes late, I think. Uh, and I, we just stocked up on some stuff at the store. Uh, here's the old station building for, for Grand Junction from the old Denver Rio Grande and Western. So, yeah. The advantage of the fresh air break at Grand Junction is there's actually a store there. So, we got some fresh fruit, which is like gold on a train, um, in addition to. Chex Mix, because I, I, I know this is a hot, hot take, but Chex Mix are pretty good. Uh, yeah, so we're going to leave Grand Junction in just a few minutes, and um, I'll see you back in the Colorado River Canyon. The views coming out of Grand Junction were really, really cool, but this video is getting pretty long already, so here are some 
but I'm not going to show you all of them because I filmed like 10 minutes of footage just in this one section. It really was insanely beautiful though, but there's more really cool footage of views coming up, especially uh, once we leave Glen Glenwood Springs. However, first, the Glenwood Springs Fresh Air Break, which was longer than scheduled because we had to do our inspection there because of how late we were. So let's cut to there. Okay, we're here in Glenwood Springs. So normally this is a very, very short fresh air break, but uh, we're, we're est estimated to arrive into Denver according to the, to the, the, to the conductor past mi mi midnight. So they're doing the, the daily inspection here instead of uh, in Denver where, where, where it's normally done. So it's about uh, 25 minutes here uh, at the, at the fresh air stop so we're gonna enjoy that and then hop back on board and we'll spend that time in the observation car for some nice great reviews we ended up leaving glenwood springs five hours and 25 minutes late basically the instant we left the views started and were really cool soon we went to dinner and the views continued there I was a doofus and didn't charge my phone for dinner, so I wasn't actually able to film anything, but both my mom and I got the Caprese skewers for an appetizer, and we got the same mains as we did at last night's dinner. So if you want to see that, scroll back to the timestamp on your screen now. About an hour after leaving Glenwood Springs, we turned north, following the Cerro cutoff line along the Colorado River Valley. This section had the most spectacular views of the whole trip, and don't even take it from me, the conductor said, this is the most beautiful section of track you can ride in America. So now I'm going to shut up and let you enjoy these views. I'll see you at the fresh air break in Fraser. I'm at, the fre I'm at the fresh air stop here in Fraser Winter Park. Uh, it's just a short stop, but I nice to get some really chilly and cool mountain air uh, before we head down to Denver. And with that, we headed down the Rockies, through the Moffat Tunnel, east in into the Denver suburbs, and eventually we arrived into Denver Union Station at 12.19 a.m., five hours and 41 minutes late. And that concluded my trip on the California Zephyr. Was it five hours and 41 minutes late? Yes. Did it take 36 hours instead of 31? Also yes. Was it kind of crazy to do this? Yes. However, it was an amazing, amazing, amazing experience and truly one, one of the most amazing travel experiences I've, I, I've had, period. I think that every person should try an Amtrak long dis dis distance train and this one is a great one to, to try whether, whether, whether you do it in coach or in a sleeper car like me so thank you thank you guys so much for watching i know this this video is a bit longer and a bit weird for for my channel but i hope that you enjoyed and i'll see you next week goodbye